A concentration gradient of protons across a membrane drives the synthesis of ATP by a large complex in the membrane called ATP synthase. ATP synthase, also called the F1-FO ATP synthase, has two main parts, F1, which protrudes into the cytoplasm, and FO, which sits in the membrane. FO consists of 12 identical subunits designated C. A central stock, called the gamma subunit, extends from FO through F1. Surrounding the gamma subunit in F1 are three pairs of alpha and beta subunits, which serve as the sites of ATP synthesis. Other subunits, designated A and B, connect the F1 knob to the membrane. The proton gradient across the membrane drives FO to rotate. Protons enter through a channel in subunit A and move into the C subunits, causing FO to rotate in 120-degree steps around the axle. Protons are released from the C subunits into the cytoplasm. Note that as FO rotates, the axle also rotates, but F1 does not. F1 is held in place by its connection to the membrane through the A and B subunits. However, the axle turning inside F1 causes F1 to change conformation, catalyzing the formation of ATP from ADP and inorganic phosphate. An ATP molecule is produced for every three protons that cross the membrane through the ATP synthase channel. This function, in which a proton potential powers ATP production, is highly conserved. ATP synthase complexes with the same general structure can be found in the cell membranes of bacteria, in the inner membranes of mitochondria, and in the thylakoid membranes of chloroplasts.